War Game Exclusive is keeping it real with four new exciting 28mm scale boutique miniatures that you have to see to believe. These folks put out some amazing miniatures over on Wargame Exclusive, and I think they partner with Grim Skull for all of their sculpting needs. And man, let me tell you what, every time I see this stuff, and I see where they began when we started talking about them years and years ago, I see where they're at now with like packaging and super quick shipping. I mean, as quick as can be from, you know, over in Europe. <laughs> but I mean, it's just, it's, it's another success story. You know, we talk about it all the time here on the channel with all these boutique miniatures, you know, that could count as other things. You know, you could say, hey, I could use this as that. Oh like, yeah, okay, cool. And, but at the end of the day, it's a buyer's market. It's like whatever we want, we, you know, if it looks cool, paint something different and counts as on the tabletop, you know, certain tournaments have certain restrictions on miniatures and everybody always chimes in well you can't play this at so-and-so's tournament or blah 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 blah. like guys it, it's a hobby it's not owned by any particular company <laughs> if your friend comes over to your house or comes to your game store and has a miniature and you're like you can't play with that because it's not blah 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 well then uh, who's the who's really the bad guy let's be real <laughs> back to the actual review that's my that's my soapbox intro i guess so the greater good hunter is one of the ones we're going to be looking at today we just showed you what they call the Imperial Puncher. So this guy, or lady, it looks like, <laughs> haven't seen the, haven't gotten it out of the package yet. We're gonna unbox and take a look at it here in a second. But Greater Good Wild Hunter for 14 euros, it looks like, add to cart, is coming home. It says mail, but I don't know. It doesn't look like a mail. I'm not, I'm not convinced in that. Of course, they have all sorts of uh, amazing other miniatures there as well. Next one we're going to be looking for is the Imperial Book Bearer. And I'm sure, well, they got all sorts of stuff in here. Book Bearer, there we go. That's the new one. The Book Bearer obviously looks like he's casting some spells here. Looking pretty fresh. Got all those keys, all those books, and everything. So we're going to add that one to cart $29.99. That is a pretty detailed miniature there. Definitely the boutiqueness coming out into that. The Heresy Hunter. Now you can always go back to the main page and scroll through all of the stuff here, like the Heresy Hunters. Uh, this one is the Dominator Mechanic. And uh, well, a little, little breezy in the front there, but not too bad, not too unrespectable. Some, some of the stuff that's out there, I suppose. And that looks pretty thorough. That is, uh, how much is that one? All right, $20, add the cart. And last but certainly not least, I, I'm, I'm smitten by this one. I have not seen a miniature quite like this in a while. Definitely some real world inspiration right here, the Imperial Puncher. And uh, that lady's got some stuff to say. I don't know if she's a ganger, I don't know what she is, but she is a pretty dope mini, that is for sure. So that's it, add to cart. Let's take a look at these beasts. First up is the Heresy Hunter Dominator Mechanic. It uh, looks just as detailed as we just saw in that picture. I'm uh, kind of smitten. This this miniature is very well detailed. Look at that! Look at all that crispness in there. Some sort of crazy crack grenade or melt a bomb. A bunch of bionics in there. I guess they wouldn't be melt a bombs. Crack grenades for sure. Dominus, typical kind of cowl pattern Dominus backpack right there, more Mechanicus legs. You can't be walking around with bare feet on the Martian soil, let's be honest. But apparently you can bear your chest. <laughs> I mean, War Games exclusive is good for that sort of thing, but I feel like it's tasteful at, at, at this particular juncture on this one. They do have some pinup varieties of miniatures on their site and some regular ones with uh, more uh, covered up armored tops there, depending on who you're buying for, or, you know, if you want to uh, be a little bit more respectable on the tabletop. Well, they got that covered there. Here's the base, and it looks like the front foot goes right there. So, very cool looking, and a bag full of parts. This is going to be fun. <laughs> so, it looks like they got their normal uh, little Grim Skull kind of sprue right there that doubles as like an I-beam or something and all sorts of material and it doesn't look like anything's bent which is kind of kind of crazy if you think about it coming across the ocean like that and then of course you got the Grim Skull logo right there so this lady is ready to get assembled and next up we'll take a look at oh the puncher oh my goodness this thing looks so 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 good again lots of parts here and we're just going to open this one all the way up because it looks like that is the way it's going to work here Oh, got the Mohawk, all right. Got the Marvin the Martian Mohawk, because why not? 
Another great looking base here. It looks like the, stab the back rear stabilizers for the gun kind of go into the ground right there, a la a storm surge. And there she is. Again, no armor on the front, but it's not like we haven't seen that before with the Clan Escher models, right? And a uh, little kind of steampunk punky feel with the goggles and everything on top. That is a rather large gun. <laughs> And some sort of shoulder pad thing. Looks like they slot into the... Look at the detail on that. Incredible stuff here. Stabilizers and... What is this? Some sort of... Oh, her, her arm actually. So it's a two-handed weapon right there. And I think there's a smokestack somewhere too. Oh, there's the uh, Moog. Then we've got the Greater Good Wild Hunter. Now, like I said, this was listed on their site as a dude. Do not think it is a dude, but we're about to find out. Just glancing at it, did not look like a dude. So it got this really cool kind of rock formation. Wow, really cool rock formation here with a little skull on the back. Always like all the extra details and everything they give with the bases. That is not a dude. <laughs> okay, well, can confirm, not a dude. Got some frag grenades, all sorts of pouches and totems and things. Uh, really cool kind of Hawkeye-ish backpack like in that with, uh, look at the Flechettes or the fairings, I forget what those are called, on the back there of the arrows. Some sort of crazy... Oh, it's a predator targeter! What? This thing's got the predator! The predator's up in the trees! Alright, cool. Nice, so that goes right there. And crazy hawkeye bow. I'm definitely digging that one. Little, uh, looks like a piece of cloth or a tabard. Might go on the back right there. And reloading from the quiver on the back there so this looks like a really really cool miniature and last but surely not least is the imperial book banner oh so i guess this is uh meant to be like primary size on a 40 mil base Ex explains the price i suppose uh with some skulls on it and different things very well done in my opinion let's check out the detail work here as we open try to carefully open at least there we go carefully open this bad boy let's get all the pieces out there and you've got now i don't know how that came across like completely preserved so good packaging good clam packs i like that so much detail going on right here i don't even know where to start so lots and lots of pieces it looks like some wires and stuff are going to come off the back got a arm here that's definitely casting a spell some sort of crazy retro reclusium sort of staff right there and some shoulder pads a little bit needs to get trimmed and clipped off and we'll check it for flash overall most of the stuff from wargame exclusive the flash is not bad it's almost like this librarian is like an extreme extreme sculpt because you know when you're casting when you're when you're doing all this stuff in resin you can get this level of detail but you buy it in plastic like you buy the the plastic space marine primaris librarian it doesn't even compare to this for uh, well, I think the Plastic Librarian is actually more priced. This is 30? I think this one was 30. So either way, they're at least less or close to the same price for a way, way better detail, in my opinion. All right, let's put them together. Wowie, wow, wow. These ventures are literally incredible. Um, I, like I said, I always get excited when we do war game exclusive, and we get these things in, and we put them together, and it's just stunning. I mean, there's some there, there, there's some companies out there that sell some expensive resin miniatures that aren't this detailed. Let's just leave it at that. You know who I'm talking about. And this is incredible for the price. Like, there's simply no comparison to some of the other companies out there. I mean, this is just amazing. Grim Skull Sculptors. I think I think they're the sculptors. I think they're a partner. It's very vague how it all works, but that's okay. We still love them. Um, just incredible detail work here. You saw it on the Abaddon. I'm trying to get some more like the typhus and stuff but i mean where do you start with this the, this it's simply amazing the scroll work <laughs> all of the power coils the keys the banners you got the skulls and the little like power wires to the skulls the servo skulls on the side holding banners wait till you see the uh the other one what is it the um mechanic simply stunning uh here let's just jump to her so i actually screwed this one up when i was assembling First thing you want to do is put this iron halo on here. It's very, it, it, I had to do it last and I had to use a uh, tweezers to do it. So don't mess that one up. Also another thing you need to be aware of, this tabard, uh, put this on, it just slots on and then it literally attaches to this banner book right here. I didn't even have to glue it. 
uh, but but it's just it's basically just on her arm. It's incredible. Uh, I mean, sh again, the sheer amount of detail here, the cogs, all the coil work, the little literally writing in the book. This this isn't even a twenty dollar miniature, I, I believe. Um, I, I'm just speechless, which doesn't happen a lot. Uh, it's just an incredible quality miniature for the price. I mean, obviously, if you're going to buy one thing from them. Uh, it's probably not gonna be worth it shipping wise. So buy a few go over there They got a bunch of categories and showed them to you on the web uh, Amazing amazing stuff. Look at this miniature. It's the freaking predator meets Hawkeye meets a crew meets Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't even know what's going on here, but I love it uh, It's not my cup of tea, but I can still definitely appreciate a really cool kind of uh, Miniature that's a little bit on that cutting edge of maybe a little too much, but still pretty cool looking I mean got all the totems Got the predator laser, got the gas mask, porcupine, crude head, grabbing, you know, extra arrows. I just see this, this character here just wailing away against the Imperium forces. Got the little banner there that goes on the rock, all very well designed. And last but certainly not least, the Imperial Puncher, Lady Escher looking miniature, uh, just simply incredible. Look at that gun, look at the pose. Marvin the Martian, I believe she has a cigar in her mouth, because why wouldn't she? <laughs> you know you're a badass when you're chomping on a cigar with a big ginormous gun with little stabilizers on the back. I'm not sure I don't play enough uh, Necromunda to know exactly what this one is all about, but I don't really care at that point. Like, what do you, like, yeah, you just put this on the tabletop and have some fun. I feel like it's some sort of HMG, some sort of whatever you want it to be. Uh, you know, kill teams here. You can do all sorts of things with these miniatures and we only need a couple. I mean, why not spend a little extra time and extra money and make something a centerpiece of your army right down to the bases themselves. Just simply, simply incredible stuff uh, from Wargame Exclusive. Let's get a little combo shot here. So I can't wait to get the next batch of releases from these folks uh, because man, they just, like I said, we've been reviewing them for years. They just keep getting better and better and better. And man, I just cannot say enough good things about the quality, the shipping, the customer service, uh, all of it. It's all, it's all very, very good. So make sure you check them out. If you like these type of features here on the channel, stuff you're not gonna see anywhere else, <laughs> to be quite honest. I mean, maybe you will in the future, but I've been looking for it, haven't seen it too much out there. You make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all of these videos.